The new Lord of the Rings movies announced by Warner Brothers. Do we like this idea or hate it? And more importantly, will it succeed? Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. So first of all, thanks to sources that I have that work in and around the industry, they have confirmed to me that Peter Jackson will be involved in the new movies Warner Brothers are planning. What's happening? In fact, he has to be involved with any new project that Warner Brothers develop because of the contract he had from the previous movies. So hopefully this means we might get to see something with a bit of integrity. Because right now we actually have no idea what they're planning. It really could end up being anything. Is it going to be a remake? Is it going to be a reboot? Is it going to be some sort of side project or something that's like happening in the background? Or God knows, we just don't know yet. Is it going to be based on something like the Silmarian stories or something like that? I don't know. But what we know right now, officially, is that Warner Brothers, through this other company, own the rights, the film rights, to... The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, and that they're talking about creating a series of fresh movies based in and around that. Now, this is all very strange. Nobody really was expecting it, but it's happening, and it will probably make a crap load of money. But the Amazon Rings of Power, that we'll talk about that in a second, hasn't been massively popular with the Lord of the Rings fans, mainly because Peter Jackson wasn't involved. Now, it's my understanding, again, actually, that Peter Jackson actually couldn't be involved, but Amazon never wanted him to be anyway. But again, because of these existing contracts, it might have been a little bit difficult. But either way, Amazon never even reached out, as far as we know. So that kind of irritated a lot of fans and made a lot of fans nervous from the get-go. This project, though, will have Peter Jackson attached. And a lot of the movie fans of Lord of the Rings will insist upon it, and it will reassure a lot of them. What role Peter Jackson has might not be as reassuring, though, because apparently there is no guarantee that he will get to be in charge this time, write it, direct it, etc., etc. Just that he will have to have some sort of involvement. It'll probably be an executive producer role as a minimum. Um, and then go from there. It will very much depend on how conversations go. The contract pretty much only says he has to be involved. It doesn't say specifically how. And apparently that's quite a common sort of addendum to a lot of these contracts when a director writer goes into a big franchise series with a studio because they then want to be involved and have some element of control over what happens next. So will these new movies be a success? I think yes, it probably will. I think The Lord of the Rings just works better on the cinema screen than it does on the television screen. I mean, Amazon had to spend all of those hundreds of millions of dollars to even get The Lord of the Rings to look like it did. And let's be honest, it was beautiful, but a few of the special effects were a little dodgy. And maybe some of the battle scenes, etc., that we've seen up to now weren't as grand in scale as we were hoping. I just think it works better on the a big scale. I think Peter Jackson understands these stories better than Amazon do. And I think he understands what the fans want from the series. So for me, Peter Jackson's involvement is absolutely vital. And like I say, Warner Brothers have seen what has happened with Amazon. They've been watching the social media. They will already know that actually the initial reaction from a lot of Lord of the Rings fans to this news that they're going to be doing another movie is negative and not exactly full of maybe the excitement they were hoping. So getting Peter Jackson's name attached to this as quickly as humanly possible is absolutely vital for them because they want to sort of nip any negativity in the bud as quickly as possible. And let's be honest, there are a lot of YouTube channels and a lot of people out there, influencers, etc., that thrive on negativity. 
that's what they live for. That's how they get views and how they get clicks. Because at the end of the day, you can have a hundred good news stories, but people really, for some reason, seem to enjoy the bad news story more and seem to click on it. They seem to enjoy, in some ways, the negativity and the drama. If something's just lovely and going ahead nicely and everything's easy, people get a little bored. But if something's hard and full of drama and tension and, I don't know, it seems a little bit more exciting. So there are people out there that are going to jump on this and be as negative as they can be. It'll be a woke pile of crap before it's even been written. So we're just going to have to accept that. But Warner Brothers are definitely going to want to avoid as much of it as possible. And getting Peter Jackson on board will do that. So Peter Jackson will be involved in this. He will, whatever his role is, we'll have to find out soon. But I fully expect Peter Jackson to be front and centre and to be talking a lot about this over the next couple of years while we're waiting for whatever it is they actually make to get done. And he will be the face of the project. And it'll make the job of the hate clickers a lot harder having him front and centre. So, guys, get in the comments. Tell me exactly what you think. Is this a project you're looking forward to? And having Peter Jackson on board, does that make you a little less nervous about whatever it is they're going to produce? Does Peter Jackson make this an exciting project? Get to the comments and tell me exactly what you think. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, really out. And as always, if you enjoy the content and you want to support the channel a little bit more, consider hitting that join button. There's also a bunch of links in the description for everything Sidetrack, Facebook page, Twitter, Discord, blah, 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 blah. Please go and check those out as well. As always, please stay safe and I'll see you next time.